What's good, everybody? Dragon Inferno here. Welcome to Death Road to Canada. Let's go. Oh, I hope everybody's having a good week this far. Wait until you see the chaotic mess of this game. Let me tell you. Hey, what's good? What's good? How are you doing today? It's a potato! What's up, potato? Welcome to Death Road to Canada. Let's go, Rayman Freak! What's good? How are you doing today? Oh, you fix that old thumbnail there. I'll bada bang the bada boom. So for those of you who don't know what Death Road to Canada is, it is a pixelated survival horror game where we have to drive from Florida, apparently, to Canada. So, and while surviving in a zombie apocalypse. So it should be fun, it should be fun. Just getting everything situated on my side and we'll be good to go. Gamer pup, gamer pup does whatever gamer pup does. All right. So yeah, get ready for an epic adventure. Uh, so I have played this the past two days, only like two rounds and stuff. This game is crazy. This game is legitimately off the wall, kind of like I don't know. It, it's a game that I would definitely play. <laughs> Taco Thursday, let's go. I know, I'm sorry, like, the schedule has just been utterly chaotic the past week or so, so. It has been a rough past two months, but we're getting situated, we're getting situated. Levi, Pink Sharky, what's good, what's good, how is everybody doing today? Here's your question of the day. Let's go. All right. So, like I said, uh, for those walking in here, make sure you smash the like button and make sure you're subscribed. So, uh, at McMahon, what's good? So, this is Death Road to Canada. So, for any of you folks that don't know what Death Road to Canada is, we start in Florida. It's a zombie apocalypse. It's not safe in Florida. We, we even without a zombie apocalypse, Florida ain't safe. So. Think of zombies in Florida, where else are we gonna go? Canada. So, we're gonna take a long trip up to Canada with our two characters that I have previously made before this video. So we have Jerry and we have Terry. So we're gonna join an epic adventure up to Canada from Florida with a zombie apocalypse. So here he is, here he is, let's go, let's go. Uh, I do live in Florida. I do live in Florida, so it kind of hits me a little bit. Yeah, so I'm coming up to visit McMinn. So basically, I'm taking a road trip. Golf cart, Jerry? Maybe it could be golf cart, Jerry, for all we know. So let's get, uh, let's get everything rolling, shall we? So I'm gonna go over this. So this is Terry. So she is a gungeoneer with a mysterious past. So everything is set up, and if you don't know what's going on, so as a gungeoneer, good with anything mechanical, guns are mechanical. So we start with a crowbar, we have one plus shooting and one plus mechanical. So this is how we're going to start off with uh, you, so we're good to go on there. And a mysterious pass. So I feel like the music's really loud, I'll get that turned down in a second. Uh, this person has a mysterious pass, plus greedy for fight skills, and random, so every adventure could be different. Uh, let me back out of here real quick, though. Let me turn the music down as awesome as it is. A little too loud. At least in my ears, anyways. Well, how have you folks been? What's going on? What's new? It's exciting. There we go. Alright. And then, our last but not least character, we have the legendary Jerry. 
So Jerry is a fighter, but he's also paranoid like crazy. So just as a heads up on there. So he could be paranoid. He might have his wits about him. He might not. You never know. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. Okay. It is local multiplayer, yes. Uh, so I haven't tested the multiplayer yet, uh, but it is Loki, uh, <laughs> Loki, local multiplayer. All right, so we need, no, I want Jerry as the leader. So Jerry's leader, Terry is the buddy, let's go. There's only two, how can you pick random? Okay, there we go. So we got Jerry and Terry going off on an adventure. Uh, there is different game modes too, so I have won one. So I have seen what's happened at the end. It actually happened last night when I was playing on my free time. So there's a bunch of different game modes. I'm gonna be asking everybody to let me know what you think of this video. I can carry this on also when it comes to custom characters. I can make 96 of them. So for folks of you that are subscribed and on Discord, I might be willing to make everybody a custom character. Let me know, we'll go from there. Make sure you leave comments on the end of the video afterwards and let me know if you want me to do another one of this game. But let me shut up and let me get going. All right. So here we are, we're starting our adventure off to Canada. So safe place, grief credit of zombies, here we are. Uh, the game from waiting around in Florida, uh, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. If your characters have full health, fight not banners, blah blah blah. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Alright. <sighs> 13 McMins, let's go. Alright, let's hit the road, let's get this going. I hope everybody's had a great week thus far. I thought this game was super interesting, so I figured I'd kick off the week with this, so. Alright, start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location in order to survive death row, blah 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 blah. Alright, so do we want the house on the road, uh, do we want to stop at the rest stop, or do we want to go to the quiet factory? I figure every now and then, any decisions like this, I'm not going to put up a poll every single time, but when you see decisions like this, let me know what option we should go. So, uh, the top left will always be option one, top right will be option two. Bottom left will be option three, and then bottom right will be option four. So just to give everybody a heads up, I think I might pin it, uh, and then kind of go from there. So look it over. This is kind of how the game's going to be the entirety of the time. It gets crazy. It gets chaotic. I'm going to have to make decisions on the fly. There's a lot going on. So uh, let me get one posted. Uh... What's good? What's good? <laughs> Alright, there we go. But what's good, everybody? What's good? How's everybody doing today? How's the week been? There we go. I'm just gonna put that there. Boom. There we are. Alright, so where are we going, folks? Where are we, where are we kicking off this journey? We need supplies. We're going to go from there. Cape says two. I think ND said one. ND said one. Alright, so house on the road and we got rest stop. So this is the third option. Uh, Mickman says one. House on the road. Alright, I'll get another vote or two and then go from there. If not, we're going to go to option run. Uh, that one. Run, that one. Option one. We're going to go to house on the road. Nah, not this time around. Breakinator, what's good? Uh, would you rather be a SCP universe or the back rooms? SCPs would be kind of cool, but I feel like I'd be fearing from life in more ways than I would the back rooms. But I feel like SCPs would be cool. I like SCPs. I've watched Markiplier with the whole game and stuff like that. Alright, uh, let me know options though. So, House on the Road seems to be it, so let's go to House on the Road. Also, I missed all of you folks. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough two months, honestly, and I'm sorry I haven't streamed as much as I have. I do miss you folks. I'm glad I get to be back tonight, and I figure, why not start off with a fun game that I found? I've been going through game sales and stuff like that, and I thought this one would be cool. So, I just want to have a game where we can kind of all interact, but, like, not know exactly what's going on, so... 
Alright, group spots a house on the road. It looks fairly quiet from the outside. But looking through the windows reveals shapes lurking around in the dark. Alright, so get ready. Here we go. Ultra player, what's good? Going on in Canada? Canada is a safe spot. Alright, make sure you smash like. Also, I appreciate it. 10 likes on live stream. Let's go. Zombie apocalypse, we're in Florida. We're trying to get to Canada for safety. We're going from there. I'm gonna shut up. I've been dragging on for like 10 minutes. All right, so we have Jerry and we have Terry. So let's go. Let's get into the actual thick of the game. Oh my God, okay. So we gotta look through the house, get supplies, all that fun does. I've only played this uh, like twice and I made it through the second time. First time was an absolute disaster. I did record it. So if you folks wanna see the first time I played through it, there's none of my audio or anything's in it. But you can see what ended up happening as a result. Let me know if you do want to see the first time I did play this, though. So. Alright. Alright. Oh, uh, what's in this room? Also, there is toilet gas. So, hashtag toilet gas, I guess. So we can fuel our car. It's a, it's a whole thing. So, toilet gas is a thing in this game. I don't know why, but I'm calling it that. Toilet gas. I don't want to know. Oh my god, I just stood in front of the zombie and I cared. Okay. Also, you can pick up furniture and yeet it at zombies, so I can pick up this table and be like, whoop ow! And throw it at their head. Also, nighttime is absolutely terrifying. Like, you can't see anything. I haven't used the flashlights yet, but nighttime is very scary in this game. Alright, we out of here. Let's go. Alright, so we need food, obviously, for our people. The gas for the vehicle. We drive multiple vehicles at this point because the car we're in ain't gonna make it to Canada. Uh, medikits to help heal them, but your characters must have medical, like, in their background so they can heal your characters, and then obviously bullets. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this and I'll kind of explain as the way we go. Alright, so the group camp for the night, uh, from the quiet stretch of the road, the group has a decent meal, we lose four food, and we move on. Uh, in the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. Uh, it looks injured and is glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature, but best not to mess with it. What do we do? Do we leave the moose alone? Jerry treats its injuries. Uh, Terry shoots the moose, or Jerry wrestles the moose. Yo, Ant-Man, what's good? <laughs> All right, well, you can escape to Canada with us together. So let me know, uh, so the top left will be option one, the top right will be option two, bottom left is option three, and bottom right is optional four. Let me know what option we're gonna do. Fall Guy Kid, what's good, what's good? How are you doing today? All right, so start hitting me with some numbers. I'll give you like a minute or two and we'll pick an option. So what should we do with this moose? Bickman says shoot the moose? Wow, bro, wow. Um, <laughs> all right, well, pick an option, folks. So we have Nickman voting to shoot the moose. All right, well, that's kind of mean. Uh, does it count as a bot to remove? <laughs> Nickman. What was the previous message? What was the previous message? <laughs> I do see all the profile pictures. Nice. I like them, actually. Those are really dope. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I need numbers. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Come on, this is all your choices here, folks. Are we really gonna let McMinn just choose that Terry shoots the moose? Like, what's going on? All right. Two, Jerry treats his injury. Rayman Freak says wrestle the moose. It, it, it doesn't matter if you have multiple McMinns. It's only one McMinn vote. All right, so I got one besides leave the moose. All right, come on. So who, who's going to be a deal breaker? Who's going to be a deal breaker? McMahon only gets one vote. You, you change it to four? All right, and, so two votes for wrestle the moose. This is going to be last call and the choice on what we do. McMahon only gets one vote. Doesn't matter how many pointos or whatever we got. McMahon only gets a one. <laughs> All right, so apparently we're wrestling the moose. Your choice, not mine. Alright, wrestles the moose. Arm lock with hooves. 
In a test of strength, willpower, he wins a pointless contest in triumphant over nature. The moose seems over the loss, saunters away. All right, so we have morale. So we do have morale that happens. So we got to keep up on our people's morale. Jerry and Terry need morale. You folks need to focus on that, all right? All right. Jerry for the win! All right. The group reaches the city and it starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile up the local zombies. All right, do we hit the grocery store or do we hit the hardware store? One or two, one or two. Uh, so the swarm's mild, but they're irritated late morning. Grocery store, hardware, one or two, one or two. Let me know your options right now. Let's go, let's go. All right, McMinn says number two. So hardware store. Do we want groceries or hardware? I'll give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds from when I'm saying it. Let's go. <laughs> Bowl of nails for breakfast. Nice, nice. Yo, what's good, V? What's good? Hardware store. So you can answer the options. One or two. Left or right. We do the options. All right. So we got... Buh, 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 buh. We got two. All right. Last call. Last call. Sounds like the hardware store is where we're going to go. All right. Hardware store it is. We're going to go to the hardware store. All right, uh, you can also pick which weapons you give everybody. You can give brawls, you can tell people to rest just as a heads up, and you can look up everyone's traits just to kind of give you an idea of the game. But we're gonna go. Yo, I appreciate it, V. Let's go. Bring it in. Take that, zombies. All right, let's see what we can find here. Whoopa! Come on, Terry! Okay, enough of this way. Come on, Terry! Yeah, Terry, let's go. All right, here's the hardware store. Oh, there's a shovel? Okay, okay. Bro. Oh, is this a leaf blower? <laughs> okay. Take this. Make sure you put your shopping carts back, folks. All right. Ooh, Come on, Terry. Ooh, I'll take the hammer, though, and the shovel. Oh, shovel strong. Okay. Uh, I want to check out this building. Whoopow! Take them down. Well, while I'm taking them down, make sure you take down that subscribe and like button. Also, if you want to check out my latest YouTube shorts, you can always type in exclamation point shorts. Let's go. Boom. Alright, what do we got? Holy zombies. Okay, not today. Not today. Come on, Jerry and Terry. No, no, no. Okay, no. Retreat, retreat, retreat. We're tired. We're tired. It's okay. We're gonna cool down. We're gonna be fine. Oh, no. You thought you could ambush us? Not today, bro. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, at least they're weapons. Seems like the shovel takes a lot more energy to swing it. Alright, we're out the bookshelf. One, not uh, two. Yeah, we have one team. Also, I appreciate it, folks. 12 likes on live stream. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, good job, Terry. Thanks for backing me up. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, I explore. I gotta keep us alive, too, you know. Don't worry. Just trust Terry and Jerry. Terry and Jerry will do the right thing. As long as you, you know, push them towards the right options, we'll be good. We'll be good. Oh, ow. Ow. I'll get back there, don't worry. Oh, wow. I'm I I will go back. I will go back. I'm checking out the other houses. I want to make sure outside what's good. We're gonna close the door behind this zombie. We're gonna chop these ones down and we go back, alright? How's everybody's week been? Everybody been good though? Oops. Okay, 
Yeah, that's not it. I forget which room it was in, though. That's fine. We're just gonna walk over. Ah, hey! There we go. Oh. It's been good, it's been good. It's, it's finally calming down after the past two months of absolute chaos. So, we're we, we getting back in the swing of things. So, just been doing YouTube shorts, trying to record some content, uh, kind of go over some ideas and going from there, so. Alright, uh, I think we're good. I think we can escape from here. Yeah, everything else is blocked. Make sure there's no zombies trying to stop us here. <laughs> also, we have to start the car in emergency situations, so if that doesn't scare you or honk the horn. Alright, beautiful, here we go. Uh, let's just wait for a car to break down, alright. Uh, the group finds a professional car garage. The sign says Car Pros. They fill some gas and lots of scrap metal, just need some time as a tinker. Uh, do we car repair, which I don't feel like we really need. We can drive away. Repair and armor the car for two days. Alright, so options one proof key, one proof key, starting from left to right, let me know folks. What are we doing? How, how are we surviving the situation here? So, I mean, I hope everybody knows which one. Alright, two, drive away? You don't want to toss armor on the car? You can toss armor on the car. Yeah, that's what I mean, we can get armor on the car. Drive away? <laughs> Why, why would we drive away if we could toss armor on the car? I won't say anything. This is your folks' choice. I gotta say, we're, 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 we're trying to help Terry and Jerry survive here, you know? Alright, options one for free. Option one, repair the car. Car doesn't really need to be repaired. Option two, drive away. We can drive away. Or we can repair and toss armor on for two days. Alright, let me know, let me know. One for Griffey. One repair and tune up. All right, I'm gonna give it a last call for the option here, and then we'll keep it rolling. We'll keep it rolling. No, but you're tossing armor on still. I mean, I, I felt like it would wait an option, you know. All right, so everybody's uh, everybody's thinking armor. I won't say any more from here on, but when you look at the options, make sure you kind of look it over because we got to get Terry and Jerry from Florida to Canada right now. And that's a long trip. Blue Sharky, what's good, what's good? How are you doing today? Uh, Terry uses scrap lying around to create some makeshift armor for the car. It takes a couple of days and it looks like it falls off the car at any time. Alright, so the armor doesn't look good, but you know. Alright, more allies crew stuff though, let's go. All right, we're kind of running low on food. We don't got free food, so just as a uh, kind of heads up there, folks. All right, the group sets up the camp the night after, being sure there's no danger. They discover edible berries all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work, sleeping this night, but... All right, so do we just go to sleep, or do we get food? One or two. One is pick the berries all night. Option two, grab all the berries. Yeah, I got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. All right, Mickman says go to sleep. All right, V says food. Uh, Mickman says not tired at all, but V says food. What are your other options? Other options. Brickinator says sleep, so we got two for sleep, two for sleep. Blue Sharky counters that with another pick the berries. We're on a 2-2 vote here right now. All right, who, who's going to be a tiebreaker? Anybody else hanging out in chat? Do the do, do the do. All right, who's our, who's our tiebreaker? Who's our tiebreaker, chat? You got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. If not, I'm going to make the ultimatum and make the decision for the folks. <laughs> Back to sleep then. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rayman is gonna break the tiebreaker, pick berries all night. Alright, everybody's gonna be tired, but we're gonna be food. We're gonna have foods. Alright, so one, we picked the berries. 
The Grim picks berries all night, so we'll put them into whatever container is handy. We get eight food. Eight food is actually pretty good. All right, the group eats a decent meal. Here we go. We're tired, but that's going to be my problem, not your folks'. All right. <laughs> There's a Twinkie truck on the road. Yo, let's go. It's upside down, and the door in the back of it is locked tight. The group's, uh... <laughs> About the, yeah, uh, salvates about the bounty and proceed to serve blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we ignore it for health reasons. Terry tries to open it with Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? Or uh, tries to Jimmy it open. Terry shoots the lock. Uh, Jerry smashes it with something heavy. Alright, what are our options? One screw four. One is ignore it. Two is a Jimmy it. Three is to smash it. And then four is to shoot it. Let me know. Uh, that is the membership, brick, uh, Brickinator. That is a membership. Phantom, what's good? No, we're not destroying Canada. We're trying to get from Florida to Canada during the zombie apocalypse. It's a whole thing. All right, we got two for two, so we're going to jimmy it. Three, four. All right, I see two votes for two as of right now. What are we doing? What are we doing here, folks? Any other votes? Any other votes? Also, I appreciate the 14 likes. Let's go. No, nah, we ain't destroying Canada. That's fine. No, Canada's awesome. Actually, two? Alright, we're gonna Jimmy open the lock. Terry starts messing with the lock. It takes a little bit, but eventually the lock snaps open. Let's go, let's go. The group collects Twinkies that weren't all smashed up and raided by ants after the truck flipped. All right, we got eight more food. Uh, Terry's mechanical it got better. It's not great, but it's average. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, uh, we should find an efficient car to conserve our gas. All right, well, we have 117 gas, so. Blue Sharky, yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people. Uh, engaging in trade to preserve food and currency. Okay, so we have 15 food to trade. We can either go visit the trading camp or we can ignore it. One or two. One or two. Check out the trader camp. Yeah, no worries, Brickinator. We're good. We, we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Also, let's go. 15 likes on live stream. Let's go, folks. Alright, option A, we go visit the trading camp or we ignore it. Blue Sharky. All right, so we got two nothing, two nothing. All right, everybody, I feel like saying one. All right, let's go check out the trader camp. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Hello there. What do we got? Uh, the group finds a man. Okay. One medic. Uh, okay. One medical item for each of the food. You have five to fifteen food left. Okay, I'm gonna just say, no, I'm just gonna show you folks the options and kind of go from there. Because there's multiple people you can buy from. So we have medical over there, which requires a ton of food. Uh, tactical spear for 9 food out of the 15, a pitchfork for 3, and then stick boot for 6. But don't forget though, too, you don't necessarily have to get it. We can find stuff on the road, like, just as a heads up, like, think long game. Uh, group talks to friendly scavengers who are selling extra bullets. We don't have any weapons, though, like that. At least long range. So, just to give you an idea of that. I don't see anything really useful out of a lot of these folks that I couldn't find on the road. Uh, we could also recruit Rudolph over here. So, if we want a friend, let me know. If not, we can also find people on the road as well. So, just as a heads up. And that looks like all of our options at this camp. Alright, so do we want to recruit Rudolph? Do we want to recruit him? Is that what everyone wants to do? Everyone wants to recruit him? But don't forget, if we recruit somebody, we have to feed them. Alright, type in one in chat to recruit. Two to leave them behind. I'll give you 20, 30 seconds here. 20, 30 seconds. Wow, Rayman, wow. Okay, one. I don't care about that problem. Okay, so we're recruiting Rudolph? All right. 
Alright. Five food. We're giving this dude five food. Are you sure you want to give this man five of fifteen food to bring him along with us? Feed the boy. <laughs> For Christmas sake. Christmas isn't for a minute there, Rayman. Alright, we're willing to pay him five food to recruit him with Jerry and Terry. Alright. Everybody's final decision. We, we getting Rudolph? Yes? Yay or nay? Last call, last call. Okay. Ah, it deserves food! Devours the food! Alright. Alright, come on, Rudolph! Let's go! Alright, off to Canada! Also, the maple leaf on the top left with the 13, that's how many days we got to their drive time. Not walking time, drive time. Oh no, probably snowy. Uh, there's a dog wandering nearby. It keeps its distance, but watching the group guarded interest, it becomes rare to find a dog that trusts people. Will you give it uh, two food and bring to the group? All right. Option A. Do we get the doggo? I mean, I assume we're automatically getting the doggo. Doggo. Yeah, I figured as much. I, I figured as much. <laughs> All right, Mitz. We got Mitz the dog now. Uh, over with food. Uh, she knows a good source of meals. We see it. Decides to stick around. All right, we got a doggo now. Let's go. Uh, oh man. All right. <laughs> Apparently, the dog's telling us this. Uh, the city is covered with hordes of undead wreckage, <laughs> untouched previous fire. The group gets surrounded, and their chances of spreading through the sewers. Okay. So we have no choice. We have to run through these sewers. So the swarm is mild, the hunting. Uh, apparently we don't know what time it is because we need to buy a watch. Also, fun fact, if you didn't know, oh my god, I hit the wrong button. Okay, anyways, um, I was gonna say the dogs can carry weapons too. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? How does this look on your screen? I was, I was worried about this part of the game. Okay, it looks better in your screen than this time. Come on, squad! Alright, come on, doggo, get him! Get him! Uh, bubbles? Oh, there's zombies that pop up, okay. Okay, a zombie point, okay. From bullets, okay, cool, cool, cool. Take that, zombies! Wait, wow! I know, apparently I got a zombie point. I'm not really sure what the zombie points are. A cricket bat? Okay. Alright, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, that's definitely not the exit. Come on, squad, we got this! Hey, there's the exit! No, yeah, climb out. Yeah, we did it! Alright, we're on the road again! No worries, Blue Sharky, thank you for hanging out with us. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And then uh, make sure you stop by soon again. Also, I appreciate it, folks. 16 likes on live stream. We are flying up on the legs. We got 16 likes in 34 minutes. Let's go, new record. Alright, uh, the group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. Uh, they feel a great hang on to this. Uh, so choose rewards. So we have moral, random skill gain, uh, medical strength, or Jerry gets too mechanical. Uh, Mickman says one. Uh, Rayman says three. The doggo is set. I know, we gotta get this doggo morale up. We need muscles. Morale, you say four, Jerry needs more, Cape says one, it seems like morale. What's up, Andy? I'm glad you're still hanging out. 
All right, so it seems like one is winning. All right, so we're gonna go with one. Here we are. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. All right, everybody's morale is up. Uh, Jerry's shooting's better. Terry's medical and <laughs> Rudolph's strength. And then Mitz is mechanical. Our dog is a mechanic. Reindeer, not dog. All right. Uh, apparently, we got a zombie point. All right. Uh, our, our doggo was sleeping. Oh my god, I wish it was Jet Force Gemini. Please give me that one. Uh, the group is sitting around the campfire, resting before a brutal day tomorrow. The group eats at, uh, tell scary stories or sleep. Scary stories are we sleeping? Two. We got two, we got two. We tired? Anybody else tired? Had a long day? Alright, we got two people saying that out of six. Rayman says, tell stories. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go to sleep. We gotta go to sleep. Alright, uh, we can make it as long as we keep supplies and more morale up. Uh, the group meets another person, just chilling on the park bench. Uh, seems friendly and have a conversation, just like before the world ended. Uh, what's the main topic? Advice exchange or pep talk? Pep talk or advice exchange? Alright, we say advice? 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 Or pep talk? Pep talk, they need to know. All right, so we got one for pep talk, one for advice. Advice to the pep talk. We got two for the pep talk. Advice is more useful, but maybe pep talk is uh, useful in this situation. <laughs> I don't trust Rudolph. Well, you're the one that recruited him. All of you recruited him. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We don't. Uh, 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 we got two for pep talk. Going last call, going once. Going twice. Alright, we're doing a pep talk. It was two to one, two to one. Alright, uh, tries to give the pep talk. The friendly survival feels optimistic after the talk. Uh, it gives an inspiring speech. Alright, morale's up. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, Jerry has the sunglasses and Terry. See, they both got the shades. All right, the group drives into a new city. Noises from the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. Uh, do we go to the lost safe house or do we go to the gun shop? Gun shop or lost safe? One or two, one or two. All right, Rayman says two, Mickman says one. We got a 1v1 here. All right, we got a 1v2 <laughs> crab rocket launcher. All right, anybody else? Anybody else with a vote? Right now, Gun Shop is in the lead. All right, so I guess we're going to the Gun Shop. All right. So as I was gonna say, oh, Cape says gun shop. We can also give the doggo weapons. First off, we're gonna put that away. Second off, we're gonna take the hammer. And we're gonna go to the doggo, and we're gonna give the doggo the hammer. So now we have doggo wielding a hammer. Uh, Mr. Hockey Stick over here. All right, uh, uh, I'm just gonna put that there. Uh, shovel, I guess, is my backup weapon. Right, here we go. Run him over! Oh! Get him, doggo! To the gun shop! Oh, he's. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 let go, let go, let go. Oh my god, I almost died. Ah! Let 
からほやThis way, anyways. Oh God! Oh, what I miss? There ain't nothing to the story. Wait, does his hockey stick break? Oh, that's problematic. All right. Oh, he dropped it? Whatever. It's not my fault that we got Rudolph. I would have left him. You folks wanted to hire Rudolph on the team, this is your repercussion for having Rudolph on the team. So this ain't my problem, it's your problem. Hey, we got a food! Uh, we got toilet gas, let's go! You're blind? Well, I'm looking at like a bunch of other things. Like, you're judgmental! But I wasn't gonna like run out of here right away. I figure I'd jump in, I go through, do what I gotta do, and then go from there. Jerry has a plan. Jerry has a plan. This is Jerry's plan. Just believe in Jerry's plan and go from there, right? I know, I know, but very judgmental, I get it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna grab my toilet gas and I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, toilet bullets, alright, even better. Yeah, ba -da -ba -da, bullets and food. A big up skeleton, I grow. Alright, I'm gonna dive into a horde of zombies just for Mikmin now. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, the dog picked it up. Okay, the dog has the gun. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're good. Alright, there we are. Let's get up. And maybe that room was absolutely terrifying, and there was just hordes of <laughs> dog gun. <laughs> Alright, we got four food. We're gonna have to get some food at this point, otherwise our folks are gonna starve. Jerry- Jerry Hurt is my fault. That is my fault. Luckily, Rudolph healed Jerry a little bit. Alright, cool. Uh, the group sets up a camp next to- a, or outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. Send a person in the loot. We're gonna starve. Alright. Well, there's a grocery store. We can send Jerry. We can send Rudolph. Let them have it and avoid trouble or pick somebody else. Send Rudolph's sacrifice. <laughs> Ah, I see. You folks wanted them on a team, so we had somebody that we had no emotional attachment into these situations. 
Now I see where you folks are coming from. See, the, you folks... Uh, I wasn't giving you folks enough credit. Like, you know, you're thinking ahead. You're like 10 steps ahead of me. It's crazy. I, I wasn't giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm sorry. All right. Anybody else an objection to sending Rudolph off into his doom? Anyone? Is there anybody in chat that doesn't want to send Rudolph to his doom? Now we send him off to his doom? All right, all right, we send him off to his doom. Here we go. Goodbye, oh. Rudolph. Still remember stun guard outside. The looters as Rudolph searches the grocery store. Rudolph says there wasn't any food there. Uh, morale has dipped a little bit. Uh, everybody's morale has taken a hit because of Rudolph. So there you are. Listen, I didn't say bring Rudolph to the group. That is all on you folks. All right, the group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Jerry finds a magazine rack and decides to grab and read a magazine. All right, so these are our magazines. Uh, yeah. So which magazine should we pick up? Uh, number... <laughs> Cat video pictures? Meow Meow Magazine. We have two for... Yeah, Giant Farts Monthly. Anybody else wanna, wanna loot us from this doom? Got two votes for uh, the monthly magazine here. Anybody else? Last call, last call. Does anyone else want to vote? We have one vote for cat video pictures, and then we have giant farts monthly. Alright, apparently it's giant farts mon monthly. Here we go. The weird choice of reading offers the other members. <laughs> Jerry kicks back and reads that giant farts monthly turns out to be a drug. Yep, misleading name. All right. Good job, folks. You brought our morale even further down. Here we go. All right. Morale has dropped to an all-time low, thanks to that choice. Uh, while driving to death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We have the fancy factory, we have the bullet-ridden house, and then we also have leave behind. I know. Doggo is sad. Doggo is sad. Alright, what are our options? Lady Bloody, what's good, what's good? How are you doing today? Rayman says bullet ridden house. Mickman says fancy factory. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Don't leave me. Uh, no, leave them behind as in, like, uh, we're leaving the places behind, not people. You're good, Lady Bloody. All right, so I have two votes for Fancy. All right, so it seems like Fancy Factory we're going to. Ah, uh, the group sees a large factory that looked like it was busy before the apocalypse. It's less run down than most other factories, at least from the outside, anyways. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I'm gonna put the shovel away. We're gonna have the cricket bat and the pistol just in case of emergencies. You got a hammer. Cool. That's probably Doggo's hammer. Rudolph, listen, bro. Can you wield that knife? Thank you. I'm not gonna trust Rudolph with much here. I'm gonna give the dog the shovel. Michaela, what's good? What's good? How are you doing today? Alright, uh, then we're gonna move the hammer up here. Alright, we should be good to go. Jerry Rudolph. Uh, Ru yeah, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, Rudolph. Oh my god! Hey, how's it going? So good, fighting zombies, making decisions. Well, having you folks make the decisions. And trying to get to Canada. Ah, take that, zombie. Bada bing, bada boom, hey! Oh, 
Eric, come on now, bro. You got this, you got this. Alright, we got more bullets. Woo! Oh, yeah! Go through the door. Hey, yeah! Uh, nothing too crazy up here. Hey, yeah! More hey, yeah! Okay, okay. Hey, yeah! Hey, can I pick this up? Thanks. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. See, I hit a door. Wow, the zombies are really slow right now. Oh, nice! You get to relax? Very nice, very nice. Uh, I guess we can pick up. Okay, the dog picked up the screwdriver. Uh, Alright, well, my screwdriver now. Oh, pal! Guess my squad didn't want to attack that one zombie. Uh, that looks like a room full of zombies on my left, not gonna lie. I'm gonna move back, get rid of this one. Nine days a week? What? Nice, nice. Okay, that wasn't a full room of zombies. Holy zombies. Okay, it was a room full of zombies, just not all in one spot. Get him, doggo! Get him! Stupid zombies! Alright. What is this thing over here? Uh, the people pay that piece of paper has a series of numbers on it that look like a padlock and safe combination. Ooh. Alright, where's the safe? Stupid zombie. Alright. So the safe here. Alright, deals me over right, man. Right. Okay, uh I don't need the screwdriver. Oh the okay, I got a wrench now. Oh, pal! Okay, no. Alright, if I were a safe, where would I be hiding? Was there another door? Oh my god, there's more zombies. No, Ninja Dragon was good. Sorry, we're heading to Canada right now, bro. Where's the safe? Boom! Pow! Whoa, pow! God, this place is a lot bigger than I initially thought it was gonna be. Alright, I'll work on that, I'll work on that. my face where is the safe bro this place is huge I'm gonna close this behind me for a second not the air hockey tables oh no oh no Zombie stupid and walk the other way. Uh, 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 I'm just gonna go back this way. Here, just close that door. We don't need to go in the bathroom. There's the safe. There it is. Alright, any other stupid zombies in here just for me? Ah, more golf clubs. Yay! Got that? Alright, cool. Wait, is that 
That's a grenade. Right, I'm just gonna hang on to this for now. Ah, uh, lots of safe, along with uh, some useless papers. They had a container of 80 gas, stockpile of food, pack of medical. Uh, I'm going to make the executive decision here and stockpile on food for you folks. I don't want you folks to run out of the basic need of that, and I don't want everybody to uh, forget that's a basic need. So uh, we're we're gonna go. We're gonna. I'm gonna executive decision that for everybody. All right. Cool. Also, let's go. We're almost at 20 likes. Keep smashing that like button, everybody. Also, if you haven't seen my latest new YouTube short, make sure you hit exclamation point YouTube. No, 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 not the YouTube, but the shorts. Hit the shorts part, all right? Exclamation point shorts. See if you want to see the latest one. What a big, what a boom. There it is. Oh my god, why did the exit have to be so zombie ridden? You might as well watch the YouTube short while I fight this masked horde of zombies. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm out of here. Let's go. I found a streamer for me to raid. Uh, message me on that. Uh, I am gonna take a second here to go grab some water here and then go from there because I did forget my water. So, in the meantime, make sure you go watch the YouTube short. I'm gonna go grab some water. Make sure you smash that like uh, and subscribe button. And then make a decision, one through three. Let me know what we're about to do. I shall be right back. What do I got for options? Uh, two for one, one for three. Well, we can only have four people join. We can only have four people join, unless we're trying to replace Rudolph. Are we trying to replace Rudolph? Yeah, so we can only have four in a group. Yeah, we can only have four. Alright, what are we voting then? Rob him? Okay, we got one for Rob him. <laughs> Leave alone or Rob at this point, or unless we're trying to replace Rudolph here. Because I don't think anyone's going to replace the doggo. We 
needed to rob the person. Yo, Echo, what's good, what's good? How are you doing today? It's for the greater good! We're gonna rob the person for the greater good. Ask to join? I was gonna say, we have to replace somebody, and uh, Jerry and Terry are the main, uh, the main squad. No need for crimes. Oh, I'm sorry, Echo. I'm sorry you're lagging. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out, though. I'm sorry it's lagging for you. Alright. Do we have any other votes? Because as of right now, we have one for leave alone and one to rob. Join the Republic? <laughs> Alright, do we leave alone, then? Caped? Is that a question? Are we robbing or no? I need a confirmation chat. Come on now. Are we robbing them or leaving them? And Rocket League? No. I mean, just better internet. Maybe bring some of the textures down and stuff or like the environment around it. Try to make it less, but... We don't have a four. We don't have a four. I'm gonna have to make an executive decision here. Executive decision. Great. All right. So Cape says rob. So we're robbing the innocent. Uh, convinces the group to rob. Morale decreases. Loyalty decreases. But hey, we got six food. Moving on. All right. We got plenty of food now. Group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but nowhere else to go. Uh, and heading to Canada. So camp with them, jury doesn't trust them, or drive off with no sleep. Lady Bloody says camp. I didn't want to lose Rudolph? Alright, alright, fair, fair. Jerry doesn't trust them. All right. We got one with camp, and then we have one with Jerry. All right. What are we doing, folks? What are we doing? We have one on one. We have one on one. Uh, drive off with no sleep. Two for Jerry, don't trust them. Alright, so we're gonna go on Jerry's, uh... Gonna go on Jerry's intuition. Alright, we're gonna go with Jerry's intuition at this point, alright? Alright, Jerry does not trust anyone in the camp. He stays up all night watching the other uh, signs for no trouble. Nothing happens. He's exhausted the next morning. Uh, Doggo is a little happier now. Alright, the car is completely run out of gas and coast to the stop. The car is abandoned, folks. Now we're on the run. Now we're on the run. Uh, the group spots an old boat on the road. An old boot on the road. It doesn't look like anyone's size, but hey, it's free. This is surely a symbol of good luck. Get the boot, ignore the boot. Get the boot, ignore the boot. Alright, so we have get the boot. Get the boot. Two for get the boot. Alright, we got three for get the boot and then kick the zombie. Alright, so we're kicking the zombie uh -huh. with the boot. Jerry uh -huh. is tired. Uh, okay. Alright, so abandoned cabin, fortified, stay at night shortly after setting up for the storm, but luckily for them, they found the cabin. Alright, morale is up. Let's go. Morale is up. Alright, we lost food, obviously, for the daily. Uh, rolls up the sleeves, start tending to the wounds. Jerry tries to help. Right, Rudolph tries to help. Doesn't do nothing. Alright, the group is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits of a kind would normally be a, or not be a problem if the group had a car with them, you know, and they walk it. 
Give the bandits the demands or refuse to or refuse and fight. Uh, so all the food and a quarter of the ammo and medical supplies they're demanding. Do we do, do we give in to the demands or do we fight them? One or two, one or two, one or two, one or two. Do we fight or give in to demands? We have two for fight to the death. Anybody else trying to fight or give in to demands? Alright, everybody seems to be saying fight. Okay, we ain't cowards, alright. Uh, the group try uh, is tired and caught in the open as they fight. Fortunate that these bandits are too dangerous. After a short fight, they run. Everybody is hurt. You hurt the doggo. The doggo is hurt now. There you go. You have food, but the doggo is hurt. Walker walks into the junkyard. A car pulled up in front of him. The car looks like it will run. Alright, so we explore the junkyard. I'm just gonna put the grenade away from now. I feel like I'm gonna get myself in trouble with that. Get rid of that. What does the dog have? What does the dog have? The dog doesn't have anything. We throwing boot? We'll give the dog the throwing boot. A pal! I think the dog dropped the throwing boot. Hey, it's the bullets. Oh, right in the face. Can I sneak into this building? Oh, I can. A pal! Alright, food, food. Yeah, I saw the dog drop the boot immediately. I don't know if we need the boot. I'm just gonna close that behind me. Thank you. Bye! Okay, we're good, we're good. Open, says me! Wow! Oh, this is a lot of zombies. Alright, get out of here, get out of here, right? With the little blonks over here, the blonk blonk everywhere, blonk blonk. Uh, no toilet gas, alright, alright. Oh, wow! Uh, really good condition, but where are the keys? Apparently there's no keys to the car, so we gotta go find the keys. We block that zombie in the head, we block that zombie in the head, and then that one. And then that one. And then that one. Found some more bullets. Found some more bullets. I found some food in the dumpster, that's probably sanitary, that's fine, that's fine, you know, you know. Where are the keys? I see the keys! Yay, we got the keys, alright, let's get the heck out of here, bruh. Alright, let's get out of here, folks. I will show her away! We got some food, we got the supplies, we good, we good. Uh, try to hunt some food when possible. We don't have the medical supplies to heal people. Uh, feels a sense of dread. Something dangerous is coming. The road seems like it's getting steadily crowded with the undead. And they're getting riled up. Uh, so we got the trader camp, or do we just ignore the traders and move on? We have 14 food for currency. And we eat about 7 of them per day. So, just to give you an idea, you want to go visit the trader camp, or do we want to move on? So Lady Bloody says we go visit it. Like Ben says, go visit. 
Yeah, no worries, no worries. Alright, so we say two of to go visit the camp. We go visit the camp now. Hello there, how are you? Uh she offered a little health care in exchange for food. Six for treatment. And then we have use Terry's charm. Okay. So we have eight food left over, so we'd have enough food for about a day afterwards. Uh, then we have. Uh, let's see. Sh shotgun for food. Five food. Ooh, five food for. So basically, five food, and we can get a weapon. A little bit of a pew pew there situation. Yeah, we would have eight food left. Oh, look, a dumpster in the house. Uh, it's locked tight with a slot in the side weapons. They okay, so three grenades for 12 food, one grenade for four food. Okay. So it's a dumpster uh, vending machine for grenades? So that's our situation. So we can either get a weapon, we can go heal up the team, or apparently we can get some grenades. So we do have one in the van already, so... Let me know as I'm singing in the rain. Alright, heal, handgun? Uh, like I gotta say, all the, all the weapons are the same price. We do have a pistol already. Uh, actually, hold on. I, I, I want to try. I want to do something just in case. So I can actually switch who the party leader is. Doggo is the weakest, and I'd rather have Doggo as the leader in this situation. So if Doggo gets healed. Alright. Good luck. Or are we using the charm of. Terry, should we try Terry's charm? Do we give the food? Charm or food? Charm, do you think Terry's got enough charm for it though? Alright, give food for treatment. I would love to change Mitz's name, but Mitz is already Mitz. I can't I can't change it. Give the food? Alright, we give the food. Who should get the treatment? I mean, I'm assuming Doggo gets the treatment, right? So this is only gonna heal one per one person or Doggo. Doggo. Alright, doggo gets healed with six food. Alright. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Alright. Yeah, he'll silver away! Alright, so. Uh, Repeating message on the radio a series of short bursts and music beeps spoken, numbers, haunting whistles. There's also a kazoo in there. What can it all mean? Ah, Jerry's fine. Jerry's fine. Do we ignore it? Jerry says this is a trap. We can decipher the message or drive to the signal. So what do we think? Listen to Jerry's gut instinct? decipher the message. Jerry says it's a trap. What do we think? What do we think, folks? Decipher the message or it's a trap? We got a 1v1 vote here. 1v1 vote. Will there be a tiebreaker? If not, Dragon must make the executive vote.
Going once! Going twice! Got lost on the Jerry. It's an obvious trap set by the government. The secret zombie government. Uh, the group wastes no time in peeling out of there. Uh, morale is increased though. Jerry is more morale specifically. Jerry is a happy person. Uh, while driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We either go to the swarmed arcade, uh, we go to barn rescue, or we can just drive past that. Also, the red text, just as a heads up. Alright, what are the decisions? What are the decisions? You don't know, you don't know. It's alright, it's alright. Any other options? What do we got, folks? What do we got? McMinn says the barn rescue. Alright, so we'll just say Lady Bloody says drive past them. But we also need supplies. Alright, barn rescue? Alright. Comprising a farm, a large crowd of zombies slowly chase some um, pig uh, in the barn. Uh, it's a thick swarm, hunting aggression, a near afternoon. Save the animal! Alright, so we're going in to save the pig. Uh, well, Dog Oak seems to drop that every time, so I'm just gonna put that away. Uh, Alright, and I got the pew pew. Actually, I'm gonna give the dog the bone. Even if the dog drops the bone, I don't really care. Get out, get out! Attack! No one needs the flashlight, it's mid-afternoon! It's in the afternoon, we don't need a flashlight right now. You're gonna be blind? I'm already blind! It's called getting old. Hold on momentarily. Sorry, headset was being weird. Attack! There are so many zombies. Haha! <laughs> hey, Bill! Take that! Jerry doesn't need anything. Jerry's tough. Jerry's tough. Ah, pow! Ah, pow! Let's go, Jerry! God, there's a lot of zombies here. You notice there's been more and more zombies the farther we go. I don't feel like Canada's gonna be all that safe, but who knows, who knows. Come on, squad, yeah! Ooh! Take that table. All right, good. We're getting that food. We're getting that food. Oh, we got bullets. Bullets. Oh, we got a big gun. All right. Uh. Not gonna you that. Uh. <laughs> I'll get puppy once we finish this little day out here. Look at all that food! The squad will survive! Also, does this dog have a knife in his mouth? Just saying. Yeah, the dog's got a knife. Holy zombies! No, thank you.
Uh... What? There's bombs? Well, um, <laughs> uh, well, Jerry and Terry were the whole title of the whole thing. All right, so type in one in the chat if we should just feed Rudolph to the zombies or we're continuing on in Rudolph's adventure here. Because apparently the game was just, like, bombs. Uh, no, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna sacrifice Rudolph here. Just, 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 yeah, there we go. I didn't know there were bombs like that in the game. That is... Alright, here we are. Next road trip. Alright, Terry and Jerry, here we go. Alright, uh... Okay, okay, we already know this. Yeah, good to know for next time. That last adventure for the past hour and 20 minutes never happened. All right. Uh, we'll, ma we'll make other characters here for the next one. We'll, 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 we'll figure something out for this. This is just an introduction to this game. We can make more characters later on. All right. Uh, start the journey. We can either go to Yalmart, uh, Rest Stop, or Quiet Factory. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Alright, so we got one for the factory. What do we got? What are our other options? What are our other options? Anybody else? Oh, wait, make me my change of mind. Alright. We're going to Yalmart? What else we got? Anybody else? Anybody else? If not, this seems to be Mickman's adventure. I know. Alright, well, we got Jerry and Terry back. Wait, do we have Jerry and Terry back? Did I not pick them both? Okay, we're good, we're good. Jerry and Terry are custom characters, but Mitz, Mitz is, uh, Mitz is gone. Now right, we're going to Yalmart. All right, so that last event, I know, oh, poor Mitz. Listen, I had no clue there were bombs just hiding in buildings. All right, people, eh, Rudolph, eh, Rudolph doesn't matter. No, Ritz, the Mitz doesn't come back, unfortunately. Mitz is forever, and yeah. Yeah, what do we got? Well, oh my god, there's a actual firearm in here right off the get go. Let's go. That's gonna help. Hiya! Yeah, I wish I could customize doggo characters in this game. There's actually a bunch of different game modes on here. We can actually get some crazy characters. Unless we find another doggo, there is no doggo. But for now, it is Terry and Jerry back off on their adventure solo. Oh, meds, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh. Hey, toilet gas, woo! Oh, pow! 
Come on, Terry, help me! Help me, Terry! We do, but uh, we paid for allies last time in food. Well, starting out with some medical supplies early. Again, if I if I would have known that there were just bombs lying in houses, like I really had no clue that there were just bombs sitting around. I was not looking for it. I was not prepared for it. That <laughs> zombie got hit in the head. Oh, we're getting some food here. Uh, I don't see anything sitting on the shelves of the book. Alright, let me take my shopping cure right here. There's nothing else. Yeah, the shells are empty, we're good. I feel like in certain situations we need to buy, but I don't know if we necessarily need to buy survivors. Whoa! Alright, come on, Terry, let's get out of here. Woo! All right, we got some food, we got some go-go juice, we got some meds, we got some bullets. Uh, exhausted after an extra long day, the group scouts out of camp, uh, falls asleep immediately, here we go. Uh, the group gets frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed, playing the same song over and over again. Who should fix it? Oh yeah, puppy. Well, you folks decide what we're doing. Brownie! Papa dog! Papa dog! Up up. There you go. Up up. Ooh, uh. You want Terry to repair it? Here's your dog go. Here's your dog go. There you go, boy. Jerry repair it? Alright, Mickman says Jerry should repair it. Anybody else? It's a puppy, it's a puppy. Alright, who else? Uh, any ideas? Any ideas? Uh... Alright, should we have Jerry fix it, Terry fix it, or uh, just turn off the radio? There's not an option for... There is not an option for. Go boy. Right. I'll put you back though, okay? Ooh. All right. So as of right now, Mickman says Jerry needs to fix it. Anybody else? Anybody else? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna say Jerry. It's not my choice. You folks are supposed to make choices. All right. Uh, so Mickman chose Jerry fix it. Hold on. Uh, removes the CD player. Puzzled over how to fix it. Doesn't seem to manage to repair it. All right. Well, CD player remains broken. Morale is down. Uh. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh. Grim spies the city from the distance. It is more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they uh, should be groggy at least at first. Furniture store or umbrella shop? Say, furniture store? Anyone else have an opinion? Going once? Going twice? And we're going. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I got a weapon now. 
And all right, Kate says one, two, so we're going. We good. Boom! Take that zombies. Oh, I forgot it's up there. Come on, Jerry. I need no flashlights. You keep trying to give me flashlights in the middle of the day, or I'm gonna end up dropping them trying to pick up other items. If it's nighttime, then by all means. But if it's daytime, I don't need them. The Minecraft time? Nice, nice. Cause you figure if I put the flashlights in their inventory, like, it's just taking up space at this point. I can see good enough, it's fine. Uh, don't need to go in there. Oh, this house is dumb. Alright, moving on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's a scope. Pow! Was these all bathrooms? Some weird rooms in this game. It's a store. Alright, nothing cool in here. Pow! 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 Alright, what else I got? Yeah, because there's nothing good there. You'll you'll see sparkles if it happens. I wasn't gonna go check out every single toilet when I could just avoid being in danger for a little bit. And there's plenty of buildings around. I see the food to my right, by the way. So I'll come back to it. Oh, hey! to be something. It doesn't mean there's something there. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Hey, Terry, you want to help me out here? No? Oh, it's just this one row of houses? Oof. Well, for you, Mickman, I'll check out that other furniture store one more time. I don't think there's really anything in here besides zombies. I gotta say, these are all just sinks, some toilets. Can't open them. Nada. All right, time to get out of here. I'll never away. Oh, I checked the other room. There wasn't anything. All right, keep your eyes on anything suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Uh, the group couldn't find a safe shelter. I was able to kind of. Uh, okay, morale's down. Yay! All right, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, water log store. There's a lot of mannequins inside, barely visible in the darkness. The whole store is especially creepy. 
Some moldy supplies left in there. Ignore a place, send someone in, send everybody in. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, everybody in, just go in a group. It's only Jerry and Terry. Well, one second was all I needed, so... <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna send everybody in. Uh, dark and creepy store, everybody's fairly calm, the store's looted without incident. Seven food, 44 gas, let's go. Alright. Uh, composure, Terry's good, Jerry, not so much, alright? Alright, Terry and Jerry, let's go! Outside the cannons, I got civilization, preserve food, alright. Um... I guess we can always just go... Uh, oh, what do we got going on with the camp? Uh... I don't think I need rifle ammo. I'm just gonna visit every time, just cause we can. Um... Selling anime and anime accessories. <laughs> Alright, uh, anime figure for 10 food. Windstar for 15. Terry tells them to cool it. Alright. So we can buy anime stuff. Alright, uh, who's this dude? Wait, does this dude have an RPG? The group meets a man holding a bazooka in a satchel. Overstuffed with beeping minds, he's so happy. With his explosives. Grenade launcher bazooka. Oh my god, they're for twelve food with three shots. Landmines. Alright, Neil. Neil's. Alright, uh we can recruit somebody for five food. Alright. So should we get anything, or should we head on out? Alright, do we want to try anything here, or should we head out? I mean... This is our supplies. You just leave? We can save on the supplies too because we have to pay in food, so. Wow, that was a 17 count to start that car, man. It was a good thing I wasn't in that situation. Oh, we got 31 though when it comes to ammo. So it comes across a house in the road, it's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone! Alright, uh, do we want Jerry to respond, trying to recruit, or do you want Terry to respond? Fun time, Ducky! <laughs> Ducky, what's good, what's good? No worries, lady bloody, no worries. Try to recruit? Alright, do we want to recruit? Do we want Jerry to yell at him, or do we want Terry to yell at him? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You're not here. Gotcha, gotcha. What are we doing? What are we doing, chat? What are we doing? So, try to recruit. I think McMahon said try to recruit. Andy says try to recruit. Alright. So we have three votes to recruit. Uh, fine, whatever. <laughs> Francisco! Hey, alright. Uh, alright. Not, not, not great stats, but we got Francisco now, alright. And there's a siege, so we're forced to use this situation. So group gets confused, driving, rooming, we gotta survive for one hour. Yeah, his stats are garbo. What does he have? <gasps> He's got a katana? Alright. I'll take the katana. Uh, I'm gonna give the katana to you. Uh, I'm gonna give Francisco the flashlight. You can have the flashlight. Uh, okay, we're good to go. 
Hey, there, there you go, Big Me. He's got his flashlight. He's ready to go. Protect Francisco. What if I don't wanna? What? Oh, that was a zombie point? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, Francisco picked up a weapon and is fighting back. It's a big house. Chair! More chair! Wait, is that bread? Oh. Skeleton! Oh, there's a lot of food here. Alright, let's go. Alright, we gotta, we gotta. Help! Help, team! There we go. Yeah, the siege is over. Alright. Oh, hell! Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Got that, got that. Take that, zombie. Uh, nothing good there. Uh, oh, hell! Alright, get out of here. All right, we got some more food. We got some meds. Uh, that's basically it, but I'll take food and meds. We have 26 food. Let's go. Uh, if everyone listened to me, we'd be in Canada already. Group feels inspired. Oh, I want to just go skip the chat. But everyone's morale is up. All right, that was an executive decision. All right. Zombie points are full. I'll have to see what I can do with those. Uh, I can sleep in this no uh, zombies hobble around from far. Alright, so who's 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 watching over? Alright, Francisco can either stay up and watch over for the night, Terry can do it, Jerry can do it, or we can take shifts on uh, who's watching the camp. Mickman says uh, a group effort. Ant Man says group effort. Alright, so two out of four, I'll take group effort. Mm -hmm. Alright, everyone's morale is devastated! Uh, Francisco's apparently very tired. Cherry's morale, though. And Cape said four. Alright, everybody agreed on four. Cool, cool, cool. Cherry's like, I gotta sleep, bro. I'm good. What you talking about? Uh, we're gonna feel that he has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there's no sneeze. Uh, this may turn into one of those times the sneeze is lost combined with the pressures of zombie apocalypses could break Jerry's morale. Should we try to sneeze? Smash self on nose? Spicy food. No worries, Gabe, no worries. Alright. Should we sneeze? Smash self on nose or eat spicy food. This isn't about me. If I wanted to play this and decide for me, I would have played this off stream. All right, here we is. This is your folks' decision. You folks dictate Jerry and Terry's life here. All right, I'm just here holding the controller. All right. So Cape says try to sneeze. What do you mean don't say that? I can game out with how being on stream is fine. But no, I would I'm literally here to share the experience. <laughs> I mean I, I did that on the first time I played this, yeah, it wasn't good. I mean even last game, it didn't work out very well. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, well, apparently we gotta, we're gonna try to sneeze, alright? Jerry can't sneeze on command, he loses a sneeze, it's very annoying. Morale is devastated, this is the worst thing to happen to anyone in the zombie apocalypse. Oh man, Jerry's morale is just completely crushed. <laughs> Very under intense pressure starts to get shaky hands from the stress. Shooting increases. Alright, 
We can either go to the junkyard with cars, we can drive around some more, or we go to the burning house. Burning house, junkyard with a car, uh, and then we got, you know, just take off. Mickman says junkyard, Lady Bloody says lurk. Burning house? Lady Bloody also says junkyard with a car. And caped, alright. Uh, alright, here we go. Uh, I can put that to the side. I'm gonna put this away, and then there we go. Safety first! Alright. Boom, boom. That's an ice cream truck. We're, 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 we're stealing an ice cream truck. Should we worry about the ice cream truck, or should we keep the other vehicle? I like ice cream. I mean, I do too. But it probably needs a key. I'm gonna have to go find key. Yeah, it needs a key. We can leave right now, or we can try to get the ice cream truck. Tape says ice cream. Anybody else want me to leave, or are we taking the ice cream truck? Alright. Yes, yes, be careful of bombs, because we just recently learned that this game's mean and blows us up, too. Yay! Dumpster food! Yay! More dumpster food! Alright, where are these keys? Keys! Excuse me, zombie, I'm looking for keys. How do we get over there? Can we get over there? Are the keys over there? Keys? Do I actually have to move these out of my way? No. I can, I know, I know. I was just seeing if I can move them and if they were worth moving. Make it over, that right. I realize I can get over all these. Keys! I see the key. I see the key. Lynn, what's good? What's good? How are you today? Hi, y'all. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Hold on. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go around the zombies this way. Oh, nice, nice. Terry! Okay, Terry's good. Alright, ice cream truck, everybody. Ice cream truck, let's go. I also have a way! It's okay, Ant Man. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, uh, we're at the golf course. Do we shoot golf balls at the zombies? Prepare for siege? Drive away with no sleep in our glorious ice cream truck. Yeah, no worries, Lynn. Thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Tell Tim I said hi. Hope all of you folks are doing well. Hope your week's going well as well. Alright. Uh, prepare for si We can literally drive away from it. We're gonna prepare for the siege. You're gonna force me to fight a siege or zombies? Alright, apparently we're fighting a siege or zombies. Cape's like, shoot golf balls! Alright, is that our final vote here? Are we, are we preparing to see for siege? Oof. You folks are nuts. Alright. 
Oh, good. Horde side. Massive. After dark. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Rebar? Alright. That's fine. Everything's awesome. Everything's awesome. Ah! <laughs> This one attract more zombies. <laughs> Shoot correctly. Come on, Jerry. Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Bad place, bad place. No, squad! No, squad! Alright, Terry's fine, Terry's fine. Oh, Francisco made it. I mean, yay, Francisco made it! Yay! Oh my god. Yay, toilet gas! Alright, yeah, we can escape now. Woohoo! Holy zombies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alright, we're out of here. We made it! Uh, I know, no, no, Francisco's fine, he's fine, it's fine, it's fine, Francisco's fine. No, it, it was a joke, it was a joke. He just wasn't part of the original Terry Jerry squad here, so. Uh, the group can't find the car keys. After a while, spot the car keys laying in a gator's mouth. Alright. So, do we fight the gator for the keys? We could have send Terry it. Terry shoots the gator. Okay. Jerry wrestles the gator. Abandon the car keys or tries or <laughs> tires out the gator. What are we doing? We got two for shoot the gator. Wow. Any other votes? Last call. Last call. Yo, what's good, Tim? Alright, so we got... I'm assuming we're just gonna apparently shoot the gator. Alright. Chase the gator, whips the shot, the gator swallows the keys and waddles away. Whoa, we lost the car, folks. We lost the car. Way to go, folks. Group spots a car speeding down the road. Maybe the stranger can help them. Without slowing down, he yells, NERDS! And then the car is gone. Alright, morale is just dropped and we just got called nerds. The group continues walking through the county side. Uh, zombies, first time. Walk in peace. Okay, cool. Stow running. Alright, we're well, walking along the outskirts of town. Francisco finds a small sporting goods store. Picked a clean mood. Taking an SUV back. SUV has crappy gas mileage and is slow. They're very durable, but breaks, uh, they break down slow. Uh, alright. We got a vehicle again, though. Not a, we got some gas, though. We good, we good. We found a vehicle. Not going too fast, but you know. Car driving down the highway approaches the f What in the nightmare fuel am I looking at? Just saying. It's a clown! It holds out a little clown horn and honks the sound. Okay, do we let the clown in the car or floor it? Alright, we got two for floor it and one let the- Mickman, what kind of crazy person lets this nightmare fuel in the car? Alright, well, we're flooring it because Lady Bloody and Ant. We're not killing it. We can't trust clowns. Alright. Everybody, we're leaving. We're leaving. Jerry jams his foot under the gas pedal and floors it, but there's no escape. It's already in the car. Maybe it was always in the car. Alright, okay. Alright. 
I'm gonna let you folks decide on this. I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab uh, a bag of chips or something real quick. And then ponder upon the fact that there's a clown in the car. All right, I'll be back. Thank you everybody for smashing the like button and hanging out this far. I shall be right back. And uh, yeah, let me know what you decide to do. I shall be back. One, one, three. Okay, so we're going to the cabin. Uh, do some people we came here to a long time ago. Zombie happened. Cabin is located nearby. It's still fairly early in the day. Hunting aggression. Oh, goody. Oh, I need ammos. Oh my god, this clown though, bro. Here, you can have that. You're, you're a joke, right? Can't believe we have a clown on the squad right now. Not even chosen. Uh, here, you can have your crew bird back. God, this clown is nightmare fuel. Holy stockpile of stuff! Holy cow! Let's go! We must survive! Alright, let's just grab all the supplies first. Uh, move! I will try to sacrifice that clown. If need be. Alright, nothing else in here. Cool. Uh... Alright, cool. Good stop, good stop. I uh, don't see any other things in the nearby area besides more zombies. Did the clown pick up a bone? Also, does he have a baton? I don't know. Not risking breaking the car though. Alright, we out of here. Hey, look at all the food we got though. Let's go. Alright. 
We lost some gas, but it's all good. Uh, group camps, uh, leave the camp or shoot the cans. I'm just gonna say leave the camp. Uh, yeah, I can check his stats. Well, there you are. <laughs> More morale, good. Everything else, nothing. to block the narrow way and just walk away give me your car your oil the gasoline and I'll spare your lives await your answer give up the car and all gas refuse to fight Jerry already has a plan or Francisco tells the bandits to cool it let me know your options Refuse and fight, or Francisco tells the bandits to cool it. Alright, what do we think, folks? What do we think? I don't know. I'm kind of, I kind of want to trust Jerry on this, honestly, because it, it says clearly Jerry has a plan. What won't work? Francisco has bad stats. Alright. So who should we trust? Should we trust Jerry or Francisco? We're gonna do that. Because refuse and fight, I feel like this is fighting regardless. So, Jerry or Francisco? Who do you think is the more trustworthy person? Nickman says Jerry. Francisco. Kate says Jerry. So I got two votes for Jerry, so we're gonna go with Jerry. Jerry figured out a plan during the speech. He suddenly jams on the gas pedal and turns hard. The car shoots through a small gap from the roadblock and then keeps going. By the time the bandits react, the group already has too much ahead to start. What not worth chasing. Jeremy pulling off moves, boosting morale. Look at Jerry. Also, I like how the clown didn't get a morale boost. I mean, always trust in Jerry, that's all I say. This clown, bro, this clown. Uh, medical clinic or the police station? Everybody's saying the medical clinic. Got yeah, a nice little stockpile of uh, stuff here, though. He does have a baton. Alright, you carry that, buddy. You carry the bone. Alright, let's go! We'll check the clinic last. I want to see what's in the rest of this town. Okay, I guess I can't climb over that. This is 
are blocked, houses are blocked, houses are blocked. Okay, I guess there's nothing over this way. Everything's up here that we can reach? Anything? No, it's just a clinic. Alright. Oh boy, there's a lot of zombies. Oh my zombies! I don't know, I gave it a weapon last time and it just didn't keep it, so I think the clown is a rogue. I don't know, I don't trust the clown anyways. I'm hoping not to run into another barn incident ever again. Pain. Alright, medical supplies. Cool, cool. I don't want to trust the clown. my time on the scalpel. Oh my god. Help! Help! Clown say crazy. Clown is just crazy. Oh! Free medical supplies. Let's go. Ah, no, don't hurt me! Alright, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I felt like we picked up a bunch of medical supplies. Take that zombie. Don't like you. Don't like you. There's another door over here! <laughs> Toilet gas! Toilet gas! More toilet gas! Ba -ba -da -ba -da, ba -ba -da -ba -da, we out of here. Ah, zombies! No, don't hit the car, you monsters! Alright, get in the car. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go! Oh, we got 10 medical supplies. Let's go. Okay, scary stories are fine. Why is the clown gonna tell the scary story? Nah! Who decides to tell scary stories? Clowns make their scary story about goblins! Morale went way up though. Uh, the group has fun but doesn't get enough sleep and is tired the next day. Oh, morale is up to an all-time high, so, but, like, we tired. And we're healed. Clown meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled-up bodybuilder that is too swole to control, ripping zombies in half after bench-pressing them. Clown clearly calls a woman a muscle nerd, okay? Clown's loyalty revealed low, composure very low. Okay. I'm starting to run low, low on gas. Uh, the group driving down the long stretch of rail, blah, blah. Okay, we're visiting the traders. 
Uh, wait, we're good on health. Holy zombies! Anyways, um, glad I'm on that side of the wall. Uh, shotgun for seven. Double barrel shotgun for twelve. We're, rob the doctor? Uh, I only carry the best stuff. Francisco tells her to cool it. Molotovs and then parking meter? Why would you rob the doctor while this person over here has got a chainsaw? I, I say we just leave, but holy cow. Uh, why do dumpsters sell grenades? Alright, I'm just gonna say we're gonna leave. <laughs> Make men over here be like, run, people! <laughs> yeah, I know, I've seen a clown. Oh, great. Good luck, me. Hey, we got plenty of golf clubs. You can have the golf club. Um, cool. Alright, here we go. We gotta survive an hour. Nothing there. There's nothing over here, bro. We're so tired from telling scary stories. Alright, no worries, lady bloody. Oh. Okay, but we did it. Morale, let's go. Nice, nice. I don't know what to do with the zombie points. Uh, goes against their judgment and camps in the city apartment. There's no zombies around when they awake. The building is on fire. Jerry is cool about fire safety. Uh, running now. Why did I spam what? What do you mean spam? So I didn't realize I didn't have my lab chat on. Because I accidentally hit the button, okay? Well, we got more out, all right. All right. Run out now or Jeremy cool about fire safety? Yes, yeah, so and nobody's perfect. I accidentally hit the button. It's a habit of mine. My apologies. spots an old boot do we want the boot or no I'm assuming everybody wants the boot nah, 
I'm just gonna say we take the boot. Well, the suddenly turns bad. We're caught in the storm. See, it's a good thing I boosted up our morale, all right? Otherwise, this would have hurt real bad, all right? Morale's still good, except apparently the clown. The clown's okay. Alright. Guess we're going to the junkyard. I don't know. The clown's still with us. I don't know why, but here we is. We're also eight days away from Canada. Still got a long way to go here. Oh, it's a police car and lots of zombos. Alright. Why am I gonna give it a knife? I don't even want to give it the golf club. People just uh, yeeted that zombie to the door. Come on, squad! I found the keys! Watch out for the bomb there, yeah, though, for real. It's a group of bananas to have a checkpoint in the road. Someone from the team could be sent to distract the bananas or get the group. Alright, do we send Terry? Do we send Francisco? Do we pick somebody else to send? Do we plow the group? Or plow the car group? Oh no, because Terry and Jerry are part of the main squad. Do we really want to send Terry in? We could, we could totally send Francisco in. Calm and trustworthy, though. All right, we'll look over the stats. All right, what, 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 what's, what's Terry's stats? All right, her composure is eh. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, the clown's composure, I don't even know. I gotta say, either way, clown is very trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, well, my vote is Francisco. 
What do you think, Cape? Uh, well, Cape says clown. Ant-Man, what do you think? Should we send Francisco, Terry, or clown? Francisco? All right. Good luck, Francisco. Sent to distract the bands and leave. Francisco doesn't sell everybody the bands. Francisco sneaks around the checkpoint later and rejoins the group. Don't oh, darn it. Eh, he made it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Group finds a new person. Hello, I like the red fro. Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, let's just, let's just call you Red Fro. Red Fro claims to be strong, he flexes and dramatic, okay. So, uh, replace Francisco? Wow, wow, McMahon's like, eh, just get rid of him. All right. Replace Francisco? Everybody's just like, get rid of Francisco, we don't need him. Replace Clown? I don't know if we can, even if we tried. Uh. Bye, Francisco! <laughs> we'll try next time. We'll try next time. Alright. Big house. Rest stop. Or, uh, keep going. Well, the clown's still fighting. The clown's still fighting for us. You never know. We can maybe get the clown to finish. Who knows? To the big house. Uh, not a lot, but the big house might be the best place. Gotta say, uh, do we have... There's our supply list. Says two as well. Alright. Ah, Alright, we're visiting the house. What are you carrying? You got a sludge hammer? Word. Right, we have so many of these. Alright. Alright, here you go, clown. Don't be backstabbing me. Thank you. Bye. We don't need flashlights. Oh my goodness. Clown betray me. Okay, we got stove gas. Okay, I don't think that equivalents to like you know, car gas, but sure. Why should the clown betray me? Because I didn't give a flashlight to somebody during the middle of the day. Nothing going on there. Boom. Come on, slush hammer! In, in, inside, though, we find this light here. Is it that dark to where I need a flashlight right now? Yes, I know it said it in the actual weather part, Mickman, but we're inside a building. And there's light in the building. 
Can you see everything on the screen right now? We good? So critical, so critical, bruh. I can see where I'm going right now. Like I said, I feel like the light in the building is proof enough that I didn't need a flashlight. Toilet gas? Toilet gas. Come on, give me that toilet gas! Clown can pick up stuff too. A revolver? Nice, nice. A piece of wood! So, who picked up that weapon? Uh, Clown, I'm gonna need you to, uh, hold on. So, why can't I pick what the, why, why can't I pick what the Clown, okay, apparently I can't pick what the, okay, now I can pick what the, give me that, you don't need that, thank you, okay. Holy zombies, okay. I think it's because the clown wasn't spawned into the room. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> Hit him with the chair! The medical supplies right now. Oh, hello. Oh. Um, hold on. Hey, Terry, you wanna hang on to that? Thanks. Alright, cool. <laughs> I think we're getting pretty well set up for later, though, right now. Wow! You pal! I see you, zombies. Ah. Whoa. Bean! How are you doing, Bean? What's good? What's good? What's going on, Bean? Trying to get to Canada from Florida in a zombie apocalypse right now. Let's get out of here. Alright, we got food. We got a lot of medical supplies. So, I think we're doing good. <laughs> hey, multiple great names. Let's go. Uh, pick someone to secure it. Stay on watch all night. <laughs> one of us, one of us. We're about halfway there right now, Bean. We're about halfway there right now. Alright, so pick someone to secure it. Alright. So I have two votes for pick someone. Alright, everybody. Who are we picking? Who are we picking? Who's barricading the house? Who do we trust to barricade the house? We got Jerry, we got Clown, we got Froman over here. The new guy. I right, got two votes for the new guy. We're gonna trust the new guy to barricade the house. Alright, I guess we're gonna trust the new guy. Barricades the flimsy house, his nails, planks, and some doors, but keeps falling off. Yep, the group is attacked during the night. Good pick. Good pick. Oh, good, because we trusted the new guy, everybody got hurt. There you go, that's what you get for trusting the new guy. 
Ay, 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 ay. Grip explosive campsite ambushed by bandits. Uh, makeshift weapons. Demand all your weapons. Jerry comes to the rescue. Terry tells the bandits to cool it. Fight the bandits or give them up all their weapons. Alright. I say trust Jerry. Jerry seems to be very trustworthy in uh, situations like this. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. All right, we're, I'm just gonna vote Jerry. Felt suspicious about the campsite, so he wanted to wait near the car. As the, everyone was being robbed, the car barrels through the campsite, plows over the tent, and then stops. The bandits are freaked out and they flee. Really surprised by Jerry, he didn't try to steal the car. He looks nervous for a moment. All right, yo, randomizer, what's good? How are you doing today? Yo, Jerry, man, Jerry, let's go. All right, all right. So Jerry saved the day yet again. Let's go. All right. The drive to Canada used to take a few days at most of the zombie pack. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, we don't really have any food to trade, so I am more than willing to just move on. Actually, unless we can find a way to sell weapons. Jerry is only loyal to Jerry and Terry, all right? Uh, six food for training. Say it, don't spray it. Uh, what do we got? Nah, I don't need no ammo. Clown robs traitor? Wow, clown, calm down. Well, we don't need the bullets that bad. I think we're fine there. Uh, no, nah, we don't need to recruit. We're gonna have the clown rob? You want the clown to rob this person? We're just gonna send the clown in to rob. We're gonna have the clown rob this poor person. Alright, there you go, the clown's robbing him. Clown grabs a few boxes of bullets and runs the scavenger was lying about using her and sends some extra bullets towards the group. Clown is hurt, Jerry is hurt, the morale just decreased like crazy. Group is forced to flee the trainer camp. There we go, folks. Way to go, way to go. Uh Jerry is healed, alright. Uh, car's completely out of gas. Now we're back on the run. <laughs> the group gets sandwiched by zombie hordes while on the cliffside road. Found a car, the only way to escape was jumping and hoping for the best. The fall was painful, but not <laughs> fatal. Everybody's hurt! <laughs> Oof. Uh, finds a nice spot at the camp, uh, alright. Miserable night, morale's down, morale's. Uh, hold on. Alright, no medical supplies. Alright, uh, group finds a dirt road stretch out. Oh good, we, we're forced into situation. Uh, all right. Let's go. Gotta get that car. All right, let's get everybody situated here. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Where's the car? Where's the car? Where's the car? Where's the car? There's gotta be a car around here somewhere, anywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Food! Alright. Uh, ooh, lots of gas. Alright, cool. Take that, zombies. Can't. Just, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. There's a car. Oh god, run, run. Wait, who's got a gun? I don't know. Just get in! Get in! Run! Okay. Both clown dies. Alright, uh... While driving down death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. 
We have uh, a riled up apartment, a uh, swarmed gym, or we can keep on moving. What, what are our options, folks? What are our options? The <laughs> criminal. Alright, no worries, McMahon, no worries. Alright, Cape, sounds good. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you for hanging out with us. I greatly appreciate it. Hope to see you later this week. Alright. No more crimes? Well, I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse, I mean. Alright, should we keep on driving or should we try the gym or the apartment? <laughs> it's all good, McMahon, you're good. Alright, what are we doing, folks? Are we jump into the gym? Are we going to the riled up apartments? Or should we keep on driving? We just got a new car, so gas should be decent. Alright, Lady Bless, uh, uh, can't risk. Alright, so Lady Blaze saying can't risk. Less health, fair, fair. Alright. Uh, military depot, riled up house, keep driving, or sporting goods store. Honestly, I just say keep driving and let's just start sprinting to Canada at this point. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. So you say sporting goods store? Military Depot, if all- oh, da, 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 da. The link's invalid? I just changed it. Guess I should it says invalid? Yo, J Money, what's good, what's good? How are you doing today? Did you try that one? Alright, let's go to the military depot. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oh, very thick swarm. Perfect. Alright, let's go! Holy zombies! It's fine, we're here now! Alright, cool, cool. Come on! Squad, help! down here. Oh, there's 
so many zombies in here. No worries, lady bloody. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's see what the grenades were for now. Killed the oh, there's a bazooka. Oh, god. No, Jerry. Uh, so anyways, Jerry's dead. It's cool. It's it's hunky dory. I didn't think I'd get stuck in all those zombies, but it's cool. We're fine. Gonna make it. Come on, Terry. There's so many weapons here. Grenade launcher, flamethrower. Oh heck yeah! Ha! Lights my way. Oh, okay. So this is the bottom of it. Word. Ah, the flame curve takes the gas. All right. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so sad. Jerry's gone. Not worried about the clown, but Jerry's gone. Bunkers. 
Ah. Ah, you know, it's only one flashlight, whatever. It's not like we need a flashlight at any of this other time. That and I can see where I'm going still. So. Alright, sorry, squad. Alright. Now we got a lot of weapons, too. I can probably trade those in. Uh, decent meal. Uh, leave the moose alone. Nah, treat us injury. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, you know, whatever. It's fine. I didn't like the new guy anyways. It's probably because of him everybody else died, not me. Uh, advice exchange. Yeah, pep talk. Moral boost. Yeah. Gotta try to speed some of these decisions up here. Alright. Uh, Coffee shop, there's no questions, no if, ands, or buts. Alright, we're gonna put the flame grow away though. Uh, I'm gonna put the minigun here away. Man, we have so many supplies. Right, the bazooka can go in here for now. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. Junk. Oh, we're gonna have so much food now now that the group's gone. It's only two people, so. Look at the new guy go. Look at the new guy go. all that food though. Ah uh, yeah, there is a suggestion tab in the Discord, so you're good to go on that one. Coffee up. Uh, I guess that doesn't really give you anything cool though. Take that chair! Cool, we got food. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Five days away from Canada, hopefully here shortly. Alright, we got food. There's only two of us. No medical supplies, but who needs them? Uh, I'm gonna go for food. Uh, 
<laughs> use parkour abilities or throw garbage. All right, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom. Let me know, parkour or throw garbage. I shall be back. Also, I appreciate it, folks. They're one like away from 20 likes. Let's go, let's go. Parkour? Alright. Uh... <laughs> Awkwardly tries to... No! Terry's killed! Aww. No! Alright, well, we're, we're just gonna... We're gonna sabotage this dude. The main cast is gone. Get all the food. Fight deadly bear! Fight deadly bear. Okay, well, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is apparently where we use zombie points and stuff. Bear! Uh, ah, okay. So yeah, we can do a bunch of, like, level ups and stuff like that here. And, I mean, honestly, yeah, we fought a bear and lost. It's cool. Uh... Sound Sleeper? Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of stuff on here. Healthcare friend of dog? Oh, that should be an automatic one right there. Uh, Alright. Uh, surgeon. Gun. Okay, so there are certain ones we can get on here, there are certain ones where we can lock. Cool. Alright, so yeah, no, this is, uh, this is an interesting game. Can we make good character traits at this time? Uh, yeah, no, we can definitely make good character traits and stuff, so, uh, sorry. My allergies are bugging the heck out of me. But yeah, no, I wanted to show everybody this game. I thought this would be a cool, uh, game and stuff like that, so if I were to go to, like, New Game 2. So, there's, like, a bunch of different game modes on here. There's, uh, familiar characters modes. So this takes all the creative, uh, the custom characters, which I figure I would have to Discord and stuff. And then I could start making characters for everybody. So we can end up doing that. So they'll pop up on the, uh, road trips. We have the short trip mode. So if you want to do it 9 days to 15 days. Rare character modes, I feel like, would be a fun one to kind of go through and stuff like that. Uh, there's all these different game modes on here so i figure we would end up going from there uh i wasn't expecting to die so soon but um what i've so this is pretty much all the time i have for this one today uh i shall be back on tomorrow though for sure 
But uh, definitely let me know what you folks thought of this game. Oh my god, there's more game modes. Quick death mode, which we have to unlock. Endless mode, and then OPP mode. <laughs> wow, wow, Bixman, you're so harsh today, bruh. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Nope. I didn't want to. Oh, I was trying to end this. I was trying to end stream, okay? I wasn't trying to do all this, so I quit. Yes, I was gonna quit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I was hoping this would be a fun one. Um, So like I said, I wanted to see what everyone's thought was on this game. I'm gonna be bouncing around a couple different games this week and stuff like that. Uh, I definitely want to plan on visiting Warzone since Season 2 updated too as well, so give you a heads up on that. Um, but yeah, no, I figure what I'd end up doing is, um, asking people, like, what kind of characters they would want and stuff, and then, like, just start tossing all the, like, subscriber names on there, because I can make 94 more custom characters. Like, when I tell you I can make custom characters, alright, so we can go to load, and, uh, yeah. Uh, load used 2 of 96. I can make 12 pages of all these characters and stuff like that. So there is a lot that we can do with this game that can kind of make it more fun for everybody and stuff like that. And with that one game mode too, it pulls out all the custom characters and stuff like that. So we would end up running into them in the middle of these missions and stuff. So I felt like it'd be really, really cool. Make a Barry. Make a Barry, a Jerry, and a Terry. Alright, cool, cool. Also, thank you, Ninja Dragon. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. So, I just want to give a big shout out to our admin, ND, for running our Discord. Also, thanks to you, all of our mods for keeping our chat clean and making sure no one causes trouble in that. Uh, and then I also want to thank all of our members. We got Lilo Kit, we got Rayman Freak, we got Frosty, we got Skeleton Stuff, we got Cave, we got Skeleton Games. We have Chunk, we have John, we have Lady Bloody, we have FaZe, we have Carl. Uh, we have Joshua, we have Limits, we have Fox, we have Ninja Dragon, we have ND, a Mikmin, a Red Raider, and A Layer. Also, it looks like A Layer changed their profile picture. Let's go. Alright, well, so do we want, like, all, all, all the Aries? Alright, so we can talk more in Discord on how we're going to do that and stuff. But yeah, no, let me know in the comments below uh, what other uh, characters we can make. So. <laughs> Alright, well, we obviously gotta have Larry and stuff, Query. <laughs> Alright, so we'll, we'll, let me know the names, uh, we'll go from there. Put the names down in the comments after the video and stuff like that. I'll talk to Discord and stuff like that, and we'll go from there. But thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you had fun to uh, Death Road to Canada. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, evening, afternoon, or morning, depending on when you're watching this. And we will see you in the next video. Later, folks, have a fantastic night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go.